everyone, it's Mrs. Frugal from impossiblyfrugal.com and today I'm going to be telling you how to save big by not spending your money on these few items. you save big is if you cut out eating out and I know I have definitely wasted my fair share of money eating out and I'm embarrassed to admit how much my husband and I have spent in just eating out over the years but when you think about it it really is a huge expense and you know when you go out to eat somewhere there's all these other added expenses that you have to think about as well you know if you um, want to get a drink like an iced tea or a soda then uh, that's going to be an added charge and then also there's tip at the end of the meal um, also when you go out to eat you're a lot more tempted to overeat so you're tempted by seeing all those menu items and saying oh that appetizer looks good or that dessert looks really good and so it really kind of sets you up to spend a lot more money than you maybe initially anticipated when you were just going out to eat so you can really save a whole lot of money by really reining in that eating out. If you want to eat out for a special occasion once a week, or um, I would even say try not to even do it that often, but you know, on a birthday or an anniversary, that's totally fine. But for the most part, you really want to be eating at home. And you know, if you're really busy and you're on the go and you have to go um, get something just because you don't have time to cook a full meal, then I would recommend kind of buying those pre-made meals at the store because that's going to be a lot less expensive as well. And you know, something you don't necessarily have to cook or prepare, you can kind of just pop in the oven or in the microwave so that you do have something to eat for that night. Another way that you can save a ton of money is by not buying the brand name products of everything. So I feel like today, you know, everyone's really all about buying the brand name or is all about, um, you know, needing those Nike shoes and those products. Um, but if you buy the brand name, you're actually spending a lot more money just because of the name of something uh, rather than just kind of getting that generic or store brand. Another example of this is with store brand medications like aspirin or cold medicine. Uh, so we go to Costco a lot and uh, we like to buy the um, Costco brand. So this is the Kirkland brand cold and flu uh, daytime medicine. And like what you'll find if you look at the actual ingredients or the stuff that's in the product is the ingredients are exactly the same as that NyQuil or that DayQuil that you're going to spend a lot more money if you get because of just that brand name. And then here's another example of just kind of a store brand um, aspirin. This is from Walgreens. Um, so, you know, you can buy the uh, brand name aspirin, the Tylenol, those types of things, the Advil. Um, but it's if you look at the ingredients, it's going to be the same as the store brand. And, you know, for items like this to even get on the shelf, it has to meet all these federal, state, and local requirements. And so, you know, the product is going to be just as safe as the brand name, and it's going to be just as effective. So keep that in mind. That is a big way to help you save money right off the bat. Another way that you can save money is by not going with that gym membership. So I know it's just after the new year and everyone's setting those new year's resolutions, wanting to start going to the gym every day or at least three or four times a week and are gonna be spending, you know, 25 to 50 or more dollars per month for that gym membership. And um, with technology, what's really great is you can get these exercises and these tips straight from your computer or your TV um, that has internet access. So YouTube, obviously you're watching this video on YouTube and you probably know that YouTube is a wealth of information and knowledge for people. And um, you can find tons of YouTubers that will walk you through a really great exercise, um, how to do weights. If you like yoga, you'll find tons of yoga videos, Zumba videos. Uh, kickboxing, whatever exercise that you prefer, there's tons of YouTube videos for that. And so you can basically exercise from your home without spending anything 
just watching those YouTube videos and, and following along with those routines and that exercise. And um, there are commercials now on YouTube for, for different things and ads that kind of will stop in the middle of the video. So that can be inconvenient sometimes when you're doing a workout, you know, you don't want that ad or that commercial to kind of stop you and then you have to wait till it's over to see the rest of the workout. But you can actually go with like a YouTube premium option now to avoid the ads. And I'm um, depending on, you know, if you're a student, I, I think we actually have the student membership, which is I believe $6.99 a month. So $6.99 a month is going to be a lot cheaper uh, than 50, 25, however much you're spending a month in a gym membership uh, to go ahead and, and get just as effective as a workout as you would if you went to the gym to do those classes or those exercises. Another thing that you can save a ton of money on is by uh, using just your natural products for cleaning in your house. Um, a lot of people will have to get like the scrub and bubbles or the Windex or those different brand name cleaning materials and then all different types of cleaning materials, you know, a glass cleaner, a tub cleaner, um, a surface countertop cleaner, but really you can clean all of those things at home with something as simple as vinegar. Uh, so we use a lot of vinegar in our home to clean everything. You can use it for your glass, you can use it for your countertops. You can actually even use vinegar as a fabric softener in your laundry. We started doing that recently actually, it's pretty cool. Um, I was terrified it was gonna make my clothes smell like vinegar, but it didn't. So. Um, yeah, you can get a huge big thing of vinegar like this in the store for like under eight bucks. And um, we, it lasts a really long time and you can use it for so many different things. And a lot of times it's actually even more effective than all of those cleaning products. So a funny story that I have about that is when we were moving out of our house and we kind of had to clean everything, we really wanted to clean the grout um, in our house. That we had a tile throughout and a lot of grout. And uh, we tried getting like sprays or, or the, um, the paste that you can get for the grout and none of that really worked very well. And uh, we kind of did some research online and saw that you can get a really effective grout cleaner by just using um, vinegar and baking soda. And so um, we just put some uh, vinegar on the ground, put some baking soda on top, it kind of fizzed up and it, it cleaned the grout like magic. I was totally amazed. So very effective, very inexpensive, and also natural. You don't have to worry about harmful chemicals or things like that if you have pets at home. Uh, another thing that you can save a ton of money on is by cutting out cable. I know that's a really hard thing for people to do uh, nowadays, but you know, my generation, the millennial generation, I think we have kind of grown up around the internet and know about all these different internet options uh, that we don't have to get cable for. So, you know, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, there's so many different, Disney Plus now is another one, uh, but there's so many different options for that to where you can see your favorite TV shows and you can actually, you know, binge watch entire series. You don't have to wait for like those commercials and wait to see the next episode. You can have it all right in front of you, which is really, really great. Um, so we have a couple of different ones actually. I think we have Hulu and Disney Plus right now. Um, and you know, those range between 10 and $15 a month, depending on the subscriber um, that, you're, that you're using. And it is a subscription service, you know, you pay monthly for it, but it's significantly cheaper than what you pay monthly for cable. Um, you know, I've heard people tell me they spend $200 a month or more in cable, which is just insane. Um, so much cheaper and what's great too about these subscription services is you're not really locked into a contract. So, you know, I can have Hulu for a few months and if I'm kind of bored of that and don't, don't have the series that I'm looking for, the movies that I'm looking for, I can switch to Netflix for a few months and then kind of go back and forth to all of these different services, which is really great and you don't have to pay fees or con there's no contract that you're breaking or anything like that, which, which is fantastic. Um, another one that I see a lot is going out for coffee. A lot of people spend so much money 
going to Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts in the morning to get their morning coffee. A lot of people at work tell me, you know, they can't survive or they can't make it through a day without stopping at Starbucks and getting their coffee first. And um, I, I did a little research. I went and saw like the cheapest menu item that you can get at Starbucks is like $2.75 for their smallest um, cup of coffee. And you know, the people I talk to at work are going five times a week, you know, Monday through Friday. So I kind of did the math on that. If someone's paying $2.75 every day for a week, you know, the entire year, what is that going to amount to? And it was over $500 a year just for something like that, over $500. So um, huge amount that you could be using to pay off debt. You can actually buy like a really fancy espresso machine yourself for a little over $500 and you know have really good gourmet coffee in your own home if you do that. So um, highly recommend that you cut that out and just see the savings that you'll start to experience and you know save up that money and treat yourself with that really nice espresso machine or, or what it is that you're looking for in your coffee every morning. Uh, another item that I wanna talk about to save you money is by not buying a bunch of books. So I probably have two or three bookshelves just full of books that I've read and then it just kind of sits on the shelf collecting dust for a really long time. Um, you know, I like to read books and I like to have the physical book for me to be able to touch and feel, you know, it's part of the reading experience for me. Um, a lot of people too are getting Kindle books or, you know, just electronic books they can see on their iPad or their phone, um, which is another great option as well. Um, a lot of times they're gonna be a lot cheaper than getting the physical book as well. Um, but a really great and free option is your local library. So uh, your library, you'll be able to sign up for a free membership. You can check out books. Um, so that way if you're like me and you need the physical book, you can go ahead and check out a few books and read through them and then return them when you're done. Um, and if you're someone who likes to read a book over and over again, the beauty of having a library membership is you can just go back and check out the book again and read it whenever you feel like reading it in the future. So, you know, it's gonna save you space and things that collect dust in your house, um, but it's also gonna save you money because library memberships a lot of times don't cost anything, which is fantastic. You know, they might have some fees if you don't return the book on time or things like that. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're keeping on top of that. But even if you're a few days late and you're paying like their one or $2 fee, that's still gonna be a lot um, cheaper than you know buying the book. So for example, this book, uh, US, it says on it is $18.99. So I spent $18.99 when I bought this book a little while ago. And um, in Canada, it says $23.99, the Canadian equivalent. So, you know, that $2 late fee or, or whatever is gonna be a lot less expensive than buying the physical book. Just the last thing I wanna talk about since I am an animal lover and I have two cats and two dogs of my own is treats for your pets. Um, so, you know, I used to buy the the cat treats and the dog treats for my animals. And I find that my cats don't really eat that many treats. So a lot of it was kind of going to waste because it was expired or old. Um, so for my cats, I don't really um, need to waste money on getting treats for them because they don't eat a whole lot of treats. My dogs, however, do. And if you're a dog owner and a dog lover, you've probably seen in the store, you know, the bacon strips and all of those things can be really expensive. It can be, you know, eight to $10 for a, a small bag of dog treats. Um, so I was really wanting to find some alternatives to where I could save money on that because my dogs go through them very quickly. So it's a very expensive kind of recurring expense. Um, so what we found is there's a lot of human food per se that are safe for dogs and that dogs really love. And in my case, for my dogs, they are obsessed with carrots. Um, so what we are doing now is we're buying these really big bags of carrots. And you can see we're almost through this one, um, but we probably got this about two weeks ago. I think we, we get this lasts us for two weeks, sometimes a little bit longer. It just kind of depends what we've got going on. Um, but they absolutely love carrots and um, 
this whole entire bag of carrots costs like three dollars so you know just kind of look at that something that's going to last you a lot longer you know two weeks or more and you're only spending three dollars for that versus you know that small bag of vegan strips or whatever treat it is that you prefer that's going to be eight to ten dollars and my dogs at least my two will go through that in like less than a week so um, also it's going to be a lot healthier for them there's not going to be these weird additives or ingredients you can't pronounce in it it's literally just carrots um, but there's totally uh, more options that dogs can eat watermelon is another one my dogs uh, like watermelon uh, we've given them some broccoli before green beans was one we tried but they weren't a huge fan of that so you just want to try different things see what it is that your dog likes um, so that you can save a little bit money and you're not buying those expensive dog treats that have all these additives and fillers in them anyway. So those are just some quick tips on how you can save money by cutting some of those things out of your life and going with a cheaper, better alternative. Um, leave me a comment below if you have any other ideas on ways that you save money in your own life. I'd love to hear about that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all of the videos we have on how you can live a more frugal lifestyle and also some really good frugal finds that we'll do a product review of. And don't forget to connect with us on social media as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.